joining us now are child psychologist Dr. Jennifer Hartstein and Linda Fears, editor in chief of Family Circle Magazine, and its new website, momster.com. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. morning. Linda, let me begin with you. What is the right age to let your kids start dating? Well, that's the big question, right? On momster.com, all the moms are asking this, and this is one of the most active groups on the website. And a lot of moms are throwing out, well, I had to be 18, so my kids have to be 18. And other moms are responding saying, you know, what are you nuts? That's, yeah. you know, way too old. <laughs> Maybe 16, 15. But the truth is there isn't a right age. You really have to know your child. You have to have had lots of conversations about this, so they're aware of your expectations, your family values. And then you have to ask yourself, wait a minute, what is dating? It's not the same as, as the tape showed. It's, it's very different now. It could be kids going out in group. It's rarely one-on-one -on -one dating like it used to be. So you have to really consider what your child is talking about. Can't you just kind of give us a number, like 13-ish, 12-ish is <laughs> it, too young? You know, it depends. In, in middle school, around 12, 13, they tend to go out in groups. And you know, they may need some supervision at that age, but most of the moms agreed on 16. Oh. They did. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. But again. For girls know, and boys. That's what they say. All right, Jennifer, let me turn to you sure. because with kids being um, more casually, as they call mm -hmm. it, hooking up, having these casual encounters, does it in the long run affect intimacy? It will, I think. You know, we, these kids are friends with benefits. Your boyfriend, girlfriend is not a term we're using so much. And as we were talking about earlier, we were talking like, well, what is hooking up? It's going to be different for all kids. For some, it's kissing. For some, it's a lot more. It could go into oral sex. It could go into all sorts of you know, striations on the, the curve. So we want to really know what's happening. We want to teach our kids that it's really not just about sex. It's really about relationships and caring for another person and building love between two people because we get so focused on the sex part that we forget that the relationship comes in behind it and our kids are missing some of that. They're missing what that really means to just build a relationship and maybe even wait to have sex and have intimacy as you get to, you can be intimate without having sex by just getting to know the other person. Linda, let me turn back to you. Why is it that kids seem so casual about hooking up these days. Well, think about it. It's it's made to be casual to them because it is everywhere. It's on, you know, in movies, on TV, all over the internet, music lyrics. Sex is all around them 24/7 and so they've become really desensitized to it. Mm. So, you know, to, you know, according to them, it's 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 everywhere. It's not a big deal. Yeah. So, I could see that. Uh, all right, the other big question, Jennifer, is when should you have the big talk with your kids? And what should that big talk be about? Be, okay. So, the fact is you sh there is not a set time. You need to start as early as you can. So, that may mean starting with your 4 and 5-year-old when they may say, "Well, where do babies come from?" You're going to have an answer for that. What do you say? You may just say, well, you know, they, they start in mommy's belly and they come out of mommy and that may be enough, that may be all they want to know right then. And then when they're eight, they may come back and ask the question again and you're going to be more specific and detailed. So you're going to go on and the fact is have as many teachable moments, have as many opportunities to discuss it as possible. You should watch those movies together. You should listen to the music together. What movies? Give me a good title. Okay, here's an example. One writer We're running for, out of time, but give me a good title. One writer for Family Circle said her 13-year-old asked to watch the movie Knocked Up, and her immediate reaction was no way, and then she thought, you know what? We're going to watch it together. And, and we're going to have conversations about what goes on in that movie. And it really worked out. Got to talk Fears, about it. <laughs> Jennifer, Dr. Jennifer Hartstein, thank you so much. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.